forget all these things I've talked about. If you are not doing the action, the miracle will not happen. Hello family, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Wilma. I'm a real estate professional, event planner, and a show host. I host My Faith, My Womb Show, a show dedicated to telling the stories of couples who have battled infertility and overcome through faith. Connect with me on all my social media handles, Wilma Forson or the My Faith, My Womb Show. And don't forget to subscribe to this channel and like this video and share for more interesting videos coming your way. So in today's video, we're going to talk about a very interesting topic. We're going to talk about secrets to conceiving faster. Yes, secrets to conceiving faster. So without wasting much time, let's get right into today's video. Okay, so the first thing I want to share about secrets to conceiving faster is to one, let go. You know, when you are trying to conceive on this waiting journey, it is not a street for the faint hearted. But one of the first things you can do to conceive quick is to let go. Why do I say that you need to let go? You need to let go because you are in this journey all by yourself. When I say you are in this journey by yourself, it's between you, your husband or your spouse and God. No other party matters when it comes to trying to conceive. When it comes to, you know, having a baby or making a family it's just about the two of you. So let go. Sometimes we want to control the process. We want to control everything that comes to trying to have a baby. No, let go. Let go and let God steer your path. Let God take absolute control. That is one secret in order to conceive faster. You need to, you need to let God take charge of the situation. And by no means saying that you don't have a responsibility to play, but if you want to conceive within the snap of your fingers, this is what I mean. Letting go is a very difficult process. Letting go has to do with you releasing control of a situation, you understand? And for most of us, we want to be in control all the time. We are so used to being in control when it comes to getting jobs, when it comes to being educated, when it comes to um, um, every other thing in our life. But when it comes to making a baby, that is where we realize that we don't have control. And hey, it gets to us. We become so fixated because this is what we want and the baby is not coming. My dear sister, you have to let go. My dear brother, you need to let go. The most important thing is that at the end of the day, the baby will come. It will come when it has to come. But until then, you need to let go. So let's get into point number two. I cannot emphasize this enough. If you want to conceive fast, if you want to, if you want to get your baby game on, you need to rest. You need to get this body to rest, to calm down, take some rest because it is important you get rest. For most of us, we are so used to this stressful life, working, 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 and we have given our bodies no rest. You know, sometimes we think that to get pregnant, it's so easy because the moment you get married, that is the next thing to do, right? But I'm sorry to burst your bubble. It doesn't come easy for everyone. And until you are in that ship, until you are in that boat, you wouldn't know how easy it will be for you to get pregnant, right? Unless, of course, you have gotten pregnant before and you probably did not keep it and all that. But that's just by the way. Once you get pregnant, good news. But once you get married and for over a year you are trying and the baby is not coming, you realize that... <laughs> Things, some things are knocking things. And that is when you need to take a seat back. And after consulting medical professional and all those things, you will be told that your body needs rest. What I would say is that I cannot even lie that women trying to conceive are one of the most stressed groups of people. You are thinking of everything relating to you being able to conceive. You are thinking about your marriage. You are thinking about what people are saying. You are thinking about the pressure that you are getting from extended family and all those things. And it puts a lot of pressure on you. But hey, learn to take some time 
off learn to zone out learn to travel learn to just go and take some time and let this body heal when you are trying to conceive see your body as a sanctuary you know as as, as a temple that needs to be catered for that needs to be groomed that needs to also be taken care of and until you learn to take care of your body you are in no place to take care of another human being i remember when um, in 2017, you know, we were thinking about me leaving work, resigning and all those things. But I actually had to visit the hospital because here I am feeling pains all over my body and I don't know what is wrong with me. I go to the hospital, I, I get doctors to give me whatever lab reports that I can be given and I'm still not seeing anything wrong with me. And the doctor tells me that, hey, young lady, if you know what is good for you, resign if you resign you will not die resign and take some time off work and get your body to calm down whatever it is it will naturally resolve by itself and i was like yes doctor and i took her advice and today i must say i don't regret it at all i don't regret it at all so my dear waiting mothers learn to learn to know when to say you know what enough is enough i just need some time to myself it doesn't mean you should resign but sometimes you just need a break from work sometimes you just need a steady leave without pay sometimes you just need to take some time out and just you know take care of yourself the third thing i want to share for you to conceive fast is to seek medical advice in our parts of the world in africa we have a challenge where most of us you know are so dependent on faith Yes, I am a faith preacher and I do not shy away from the subject of faith. But I dare say that even the Bible says faith without works is dead. So in as much as you are trying hard to conceive, you need to do the needful when it comes to medical attention. Seek professional help. Get to a good gynecologist and sometimes even if you have seen one gynecologist and it is not working for you do not be afraid to look for another option there are so many doctors around there are so many options don't limit yourself to one particular hospital i'm i'm by no means saying that jump from doctor to doctor but you need to know yourself when after trying after some time a particular medication is not working for you sometimes change doctors sometimes change practice sometimes change you know the the usual uh, uh, um, doctor that you see just get a second opinion you never know you never know see getting medical help is a blessing in disguise i remember we had to um we we had to go to the hospital and we wanted to see a fertility specialist after a while after about four years almost five years and when we went the doctor just had an interaction with us and he kept asking us certain questions and by the end of the session with him, he was like, you know what? Um, before we get to the lab test requirements and all those things, do me a favor. Do the do three times every week. Can be consistent with it. And we're like, oh, doctor, why? <laughs> you know, because probably at that time, I know that a lot was going on and we're not able to, you know, do all that a lot of times. Yeah. So we had to just take that advice and we went to Takradi and within a month and six weeks, we found out we were pregnant just by that advice, right? We didn't even need to do all the labs that he had prescribed and all those things. So getting medical help, I cannot stress it enough. If you want to conceive quickly, don't sit in your one corner and expect baby to drop from the sky or to drop from the heaven. It doesn't work that way. Please seek medical Another advice. thing I want to add is that, you know, seeking medical advice actually gives you direction on the next steps to take so we decided to just go to takradi we decided to just you know go for my grandmother's funeral and when we went my mom introduced us to this um, homeopathic um, center so it wasn't the usual orthodox medicine it was a traditional chinese clinic and we just decided to go for detoxification we decided to just go and see what was wrong with our systems you know medically diagnosed by a machine and all that and at the end of the day we took a full body massage i must say it was worth it you see all these things i believe contributed to us conceiving faster because just a month after that detoxification process i conceived 
So I cannot say that probably that is the one factor that made us conceive, but it contributed immensely because according to the um, diagnostics, we found what was wrong with my system and we were giving some, you know, Chinese medication here and there to just boost our system. So it's important to you seek um, um, medical advice. It's important. And this is a trained specialist homeopathic specialist from china so you can the next thing i also want to talk about is read 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 it's important to read everything that you are told read about it get knowledge on it don't just take what you are given and assimilate it all in also read and get to have that information yourself okay. so the next thing i want to talk about is <laughs> bring your a game to the bedroom you heard me bring your a game to the bedroom see forget all these things i've talked about if you are not doing the action the miracle will not happen but the miracle has to happen and how will it happen it is important for you to make intimacy a priority when you are waiting and i cannot say this enough you see for waiting women we get to a zone where we are tired we've we've been doing this every time and at the end of the month we don't see any we don't see any results and it can get frustrating but that is the key you don't have to give up spice your 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 bedroom life you know sometimes when you feel bored spice it up get some nice scented candles change your bed sheets get some beautiful lingerie sometimes take a day out and leave the comforts of your home and go and sleep in a hotel you know there are so many affordable hotels out there change your environment and you know spice up the sex game don't let it be boring you see that's the only way you can be diligent with the three times a week at least i mentioned earlier especially when it's getting to ovulation time you don't want to joke around that time you need to bring your a game because ha honey Forget it. If you are not doing this, I don't know how the miracle is coming. Unless you want to be the second Virgin Mary, which I don't know if that is possible in this age and now. So please, yes, that's just by the way. But do get your game on when it comes to intimacy and trying to conceive. They go hand in hand. So it is important. And for you to be able to have an effective intimate time I mean you need to also know your body know and study your body your ovulation your cycle it's important to get knowledge on it so that when it's time for ovulation you don't slack you make it happen right okay the final tip i want to share as and when i'll be sharing more of these secrets the last thing i want to share with you today is that faith confessions and faith acts yes i can never take away faith as a secret to conceive fast is to keep your faith game up and have acts of faith now what is what is having acts of faith or what is all this faith talk i'm talking about here it is important to know what god has said concerning your situation and to keep your hope alive you see you need to you need to have that assurance that the baby will come that is the only way the baby will come quickly to you. Sometimes you need to have or be a woman with super crazy faith and take that take that promise God has given you by force. You know, by, by violence, by force, we take it. Yes, you have to take it by force, right? So it's important. And one of the faith acts today I'm going to share is the act of buying baby items yes that faith act works listen when i hadn't even thought of having a baby i had been buying baby dresses i'd been buying um, um baby bottles everything you can imagine and yes at some point i started giving them out i started blessing other people who were trusting god for the fruits of the womb but that did in no way stop me from buying those things i kept buying baby shawls you know things that i knew that eventually when my baby come i could also use them even if i gave some out i would have a few to use and i remember the final gift i gave out was my uh, baby bag right i i dashed my diaper bag that i had bought for my own child i dashed it out and i remember the husband of my friend who i dashed it out to telling me that you know what exactly a year by this time you would be smiling and god being so good it happened it happened it happened it happened so don't 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 shy away from buying baby items even when you are not pregnant start sewing your maternity item concerning faith you also have to speak what you want to see write what you want to see 
you cannot want to get pregnant and, and live your life anyhow. You must be even careful because the baby is coming. So how you even eat has to tailor, you know, you are eating in faith that the smoothies you are taking, the, the green smoothies you are taking is preparing your body. Everything must be based on faith. And faith comes by hearing. And hearing comes through the word of God, the things you listen to. So it's important. There are a lot of things to know in order to conceive fast. But today, these are just a few I want to share with you. Let me know in the comment section what one thing worked for you to conceive fast if you have already conceived or if you already had your miracle baby if you you are you know probably you didn't go through the weight but you just did something that made you conceive really quickly you can also share that with me in the comment section i hope you liked today's video and certainly you need to subscribe subscribe to this channel and i will see you in the next video my name is wilma and see ya